Hello, lovely dilusionists. Come into my studio. Get yourself out of the cold. We are on day seven of 12 days of Christmas where I'm doing a card a day. Card a day. So um, that I would have a little stash by Christmas Day. But I'm not going to have a little stash because I'm giving them all away. <laughs> but the idea was I would have a little stash. Some cards are simple. Some cards take a bit longer. I don't know. I have a vague idea when I start what I'm going to do. But then I never really know what I am going to do. But for today's card, I am going to use Holly and the Ivy. And I am going to use these lights up here and I'm going to stamp them in the background but I don't really want them all over the card I think I want a little bit of a frame so I am going to take some washi tape to make a frame um so I am going to I'm trying to think how much of a frame do I want I want that much Mm, yeah, I think I want a bit more on the bottom. So I'm going to, this is going to come off. I am going to uh, remove this. I think I want a bigger frame on the bottom. So what you need to do is you may need to make sure it's not horrendously tacky. Otherwise it won't come off or it'll bring some of the card off with it. So I'm going to put a slightly bigger frame on the bottom. Um, I just use washi tape because I've got lots of it. You can get special, oh, you can get a special tape that you can use, but just tack it off first. I'll cover that bit there. Oops, what happened here? Oh, how annoying. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. Let's try that. Candy canes and... Oh! What is going on with my washi tape? I might have to jump ship and get a different one. Now, this is not going to stay on, remember. This is just the effect. I'm wanting to leave a little border. It's the last one. Oh, come on, behave. Behave for my last one. I've already given you more attention than you need. Wash your tape. Has anybody else talked to the equipment or is it just me? I mean, it's well documented that I have issues, but I talk to everything um, and usually out loud. Okay, so... That's firm. Now, which way up is my card? That way. My card's that way. And I'm going to use this stamp. <clears throat> okay. And when you get this stamp, it has rubber in here. And I trim that little bit out. I just take my scissors and I trim this bit out. Can you see this had rubber? Because if it's just, if you don't trim that out, you can just use it solid. But if you trim it, you can bend it like this so you can bend it onto your block okay and you then you can get a slightly different effect okay i'm going to stamp with archival and i'm going to start i think i'll go here then i'll come a bit lower Turn it a little. So it's a slightly different position, and then I shall go the other way. And I don't mind that bits are missing. And then I shall put some across the top as well. Oh, I dropped that. Never mind. There we go.
and then you can just take this off, straighten it back up and it will be absolutely fine. Okay, so now I'm going to peel um, this off, but you have to be careful because there will be archival ink on it. And because this is washi tape, it will still be a little bit wet. You can just bin this, but you might want to put it on your mat for another. Because I'm just doing a quick video, I'm just going to bin it. If you always pull it back on itself, like so, you'll get it off better. <laughs> she says, oh. Da, 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 da. There we go. Okay. So now I have a lovely little shape in the middle. And you can either leave it just like that or... Or we can accentuate it by doing a wobbly line round. And I usually do another wobbly line because one wobbly line looks as though you've made a bit of a mistake. Whereas two wobbly lines looks as though it's meant to be there. Okay. And then I think I am going to use this stamp set because it's not Christmas, but we can sort of make it look Christmassy. So I was thinking if I put a hat there and I could have, because these are candy canes, oops. So we could have some candy canes coming out. I don't know if it's going to work. But, oh, we could just, oh, could we just have the candy canes on their own? Hmm, let's have a look. We've got large candy canes, we've got small candy canes. There's a small one. Oh, maybe I've only got large candy canes left. I can always cut one up. Oh, there we go, there's a small one. I don't know what I'm thinking, but I was just thinking they might look quite nice. I think I'm going to have candy canes. Yes, why not? So they came from Drink Me. Okay, so the hat and the candy canes came from there. So I am going to glue these on. I'm always looking to try and, you know, find something a bit different to use. my lid underneath there we go <clears throat> right I'm going to outline the candy cane Do you know, I've used these so much. I've used them as foliage. I've used them as hair. Um, they come from my 
Wonderland inspired sets with all the um, teapots and cakes. But I've just used them for so much. So I was going to have them coming out the hat, but actually I think that's a bit big for this card. So... Right, so I'm going to colour those in, I think I'm going to use rose quartz. Where is rose quartz? That's not rose quartz. Do, 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 do. There's rose quartz and um, am I going to go traditional or am I going to go, yeah I'll go traditional. Let's do, um, let's do rose quartz and cherry pie. So I'm going to do all the inner bits of the candy cane. Oh, by the way, I've just started with a ready folded. Is it six by six? Yeah, six by six card. Rose quartz for the inner. I maybe should start thinking about getting some Christmas music in the studio and you don't just have to listen to me wittering on. I do love a good witter though, only to myself. There's always plenty of people to talk to when I'm on my own, I tell you. I think that's why I've always been happy in my own company. Because in my head, there's not just me. And again, if you don't want to do cards, this could be a journal page. It could be your, your day by day whatever you wanted it to be okay <clears throat> so um now I'll go back there are stripes so I could paint it two-tone if I wanted to but I'm not going to you know I could do which I quite often do these stripes here just do two different colors that's on the days when I've got no cares in the world and I just want to faff around. I do these as chocolate as well. If you colour them in two colours of brown, they look like chocolate sticks. You can have them whatever you want. Again, I'm just using my ink in the Tim Holtz fine detail water brush, my favourite brush on the planet.
I really feel I should have Dolly playing in the background. Hard candy Christmas. I'm barely getting through tomorrow. I'm not a good singer, but I don't care. It's the participation that counts, as I always tell you. Do, 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 do. I'll be here. Fine and dandy. Lord, it's like a hard candy. Ooh, candy Christmas. There we go. There is some of the lovely candy canes. And then I think with this red, I am going to paint in the border. What little of the border there is in some parts. Doesn't matter. It's just containing. I just didn't want it to go to the end of the card. I could have done it on a separate piece of card and stuck it on, but this time of year, we don't have time for such frivolities, do we? Right, let's see. I think I am going to do cool, as in cool colours for the lights in the back. And I think I am going to have, let's put vanilla custard in the, the little element, because that's the light. The element filament, I don't know what it's called. I'm just going to put a little bit of yellow in there and then i think i'm going to use greens and blues so let's get some bright ones we've got island parrot we've got um calypso teal we've got fresh lime and let's have periwinkle blue let's do that so we'll have some bright and then that will offset the warms because this is a warm color on the top so i'm going to take one looks as though the lid's been put back on wrong never mind so i usually do let's do one there let's do one here and let's do one over here let's do three of each because three is my favorite number and then we'll see if we need to do any extra so calypso teal And let's do clips of teal over here. You could have coloured them um, before, but I usually leave everything. Okay, let's have fresh line. I usually um, colour everything once it's on the card, as you know. Fresh line. And then we'll do periwinkle blue and we'll see what's left. This one. Oops. Squeeze a bit of ink through. So I'll have that one there. I'll have that one there. I'll have this one here. So we are left with one here. That can be that colour. One here. You can just see bits of them. One there. One up here. This one and this one. So if we do that with that and I'll do this one with periwinkle blue. Now, have I missed one? I've usually always, no matter what I do, I've always missed something somewhere. But I actually think they're okay. That's just got a tiny bit. Okay, and then what I'm going to do for the tops is I am going to, I've been, I am going to use some of my shimmer spray. So I think I'm going to use silver. I think I'm going to use slate grey. Shimmer spray. This is um, 
this is another good one for tops of baubles this one is desert sand um but because these are cool so i'm going to go with a cooler color can you see these are my inks but with my dust inside okay so you can see here so what you have to do is you always store them sat down laid down and you just agitate them there's a little bauble in there if you can't hear it at first it's because there you go, because it's sat in the dust but you have to agitate it to get the dust going and all i do once i've agitated it i just add some onto my mat okay you only need a little bit and then i take one of my number four brushes and i'm just going to make these the tops of these light silver you don't need much as you can see um and this is my slate gray ink with a gray dust inside all of my shimmer inks and my original inks with a dust and every single one has got a different color dust um so that if you did this on black if you just took some some shimmer inks for example most people would do these and they just put a general dust through them all so then if you painted on black you'd just see the same color because you cannot see ink on black whereas with mine if this was on black you would see these two different colors and then as it dries, it um, it shimmers more. Okay, so, and then I think I am going to make, I'm going to bring out the trusty black glaze pen again. And I'm just going to have the Christmas wires look more like a cable. And you could add extra in. Let's see if you want to add a bit more. If you think you need an extra wire here or there. If you've got a big gap of something. Just draw an extra one in. So remember, this is the glaze pen and it gives a slightly raised look. So it looks more like a wire. And then you have to give it a few minutes for that to dry. I think I'm going to do a little running stitch. Where's my other pen? I don't know if this is my good pen. Or my... Yeah, this is okay. I'm just going to do a little running stitch around here. and then decide what I'm going to write on it. Can you hear the birds <laughs> whistling away? Doodling is purely optional, as you all know by now. Cool. I don't think I've stamped that very well, so I might just have to go back over that. Make it stand out a bit more. That one is stamped better than this one. Just might. Um, and you can always do that. You know, you can always just... I must have stamped this one with a juicier pad than this one. So just follow the lines lightly, not with a not with a thick pen. Just follow those lines. And I'm gonna go around the around here as well. But that's because I drew drew it originally. It you probably wouldn't have even noticed for you. 
but because I drew it, I can see the difference. And it won't be the same if I didn't doodle or would it? <laughs> Just trying to put all that lines dry now. That's better, they're both looking similar now. It looks as though my ink pad just needed re-inking. There we go. <clears throat> so, am I using back chat? Am I using a little stamp? I think if I use back chat it would be white. Um Oh, go jingle your own blooming bells. It's beginning to cost a lot like Christmas. Uh, may your nuts remain uncracked <laughs> this Christmas. Oh, don't get your tinsel in a tangle. Hmm. Um. Do, 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 do. I think keep calm and merry on to be honest so just trim those ends i am in the middle of doing new let's have And then I'm going to outline that with a black pen. Do you know, for some reason then I thought I've got the card upside down. How bad is that? Oh, I didn't explain earlier why I've got more space on the bottom, why I put the wider. It's to do with balance. If you have a picture professionally framed, they'll always leave a slightly larger gap at the bottom. So it doesn't look as though it's top heavy. It doesn't look as though it's going to topple over. So it's just a small bit. So this is this was the difference. I put this one on the bottom and I put this one round. And if you look, there's just, oh my gosh, a quarter of an inch, less than a quarter of an inch difference. Um, but it just helps it look more balanced. So if ever you're putting... Um, <clears throat> yesterday the card we placed in the middle but say say I was putting this on if you if you had it down here your card would look top heavy so you would push things up more even if it was in the middle you would push things up and you would have a bigger um, a bigger border there and then if you wanted to you could just put a little bit of stickles in the filament uh, where the light is um, and that's it. So yeah, there is today's card and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.